What's up guys? Classy Metal here. Um, I actually recorded this, well, I recorded an unboxing video yesterday after I did my Dark Descent grab bag unboxing. I unboxed all the stuff that I'm going to show. I recorded it, had a great video, and like a real putz, I deleted it after I uh, did the uh, uploaded the Dark Descent. So I'm going to have to remake it. Unfortunately, it's not going to be an unboxing because it's already all opened and I went through it, but sorry about that, but maybe it will work out better this way. What, I, what I'm going to show is the two packages that I received in yesterday from uh, Hell's Headbangers. Uh, the first stuff that I'm going to show was actually the reason for uh, the order. I went specifically to pick this up and then I started seeing other stuff and I ordered these first and then... Uh, I kept thinking about the other stuff and went back and made a second order, blah, blah, blah. I spent too much money, all that good stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got. The uh, first four albums that I'm going to show are all, uh, they came in a bundle. It is available on the Hell's Headbangers website. I will leave a link in the description to the Hell's Headbangers store. And I'll also link up, the, I got a couple different bundle deals. I'll link up separate links just for those bundle deals. So if you're interested in that. Maybe you can go uh, pick it up yourself or at least go check it out. So what I'm going to show first is the four CD set, the reissues of Sabat or Sabbat, I guess. Um, this is not the UK thrash metal band Sabbat. This is the trio out of Japan. This is a blackened thrash, blackened heavy metal band. Fantastic band. If you haven't checked them out, definitely check them out. It's some amazing stuff. There's four... CDs and the reissues. Uh, three of the four are on Fallen Angels Productions, and I believe the other is on Thrashing Fist Productions. These were all released in 2017, and they have them available as a four CD set on Hell's Headbangers for $29.99. That being said, I'll go through and show you what I got in them. Uh, the first one is the one that was uh, released on uh, Thrashing Fist. This was limited to 500 copies. This is Sabbath with a Satana Sword. I love how they kind of pull in their uh, Japanese culture with the whole black and vibe, the black and thrash vibe. Fantastic stuff. I mean, it's a very fun uh, piece of music. All of these albums are. This is not my favorite of the four that I got, but this one is just kind of hilarious from the pictures. But I, they don't they don't take their black and sound. They don't take themselves too seriously. I guess that's why I enjoy them so much. There's some black and outfits out there that uh. They make a complete and total lifestyle out of that. This seems a, a little more tongue-in-cheek at times, but fun stuff nonetheless. Sorry, I'm a bit stopped up. I'm trying to drink some of this green tea and clear all this stuff up, too. So, uh, The next one, the next three were all released through uh, Fallen Angels Productions. This one is probably my favorite out of the four. This is uh, the reissue of their release, The Dwelling. Uh, the original release was only one track. And uh, that one track is like 50, I believe 59 minutes. This has a bonus track. Uh, the one track, the name of the album is The Dwelling, but the name of the track is The Melody of Death Mast. They have a live track, which is also The Melody of Death Mast, but it's only like five, maybe six minutes on this. They've uh, obviously, unless you're just going to play the one track as your whole set, you can't play a 60 minute song in a live set. So they kind of do a, uh, I, I'm just a piece of it in that live part of this, but it, the the one track, the 60 minute track, just phenomenal. It's one of my favorite long tracks, I guess. You have like Sleep, Dope Smoker, and there's some others that aren't just coming into mind that are just releases that are phenomenal that are just one track. This ranks right up there. Obviously, it's not the Doom, Funeral Doom, or that type stuff sound, but it's a fantastic release nonetheless. Uh, next up, we have Fetishism. I love the artwork. Out of the four uh, re reissues, the new artworks, this one is probably my favorite as far as the artwork is involved. That's just some, uh, I, I don't know, I love it. I love that whole samurai look, that uh, death samurai, I guess. That's just phenomenal artwork on that. And then the last one out of the uh, reissues is Disembody. This probably rivals uh, Dwelling. The Dwelling is uh, my favorite. I love this one as well. This one is very high rated. If you look at, uh, I know 
you have to take metal archives reviews kind of uh, at face value for what they are. But this one is also rated high. Seems that people enjoy this album probably as much as I do as well. I like the artwork on this one as well. That's pretty gnarly looking stuff. Pretty evil looking stuff as this band is. It has that whole occult vibe going on. That demonic black and vibe going on to their their thrash fantastic releases definitely uh jump on those if you haven't checked out sabbat by for some reason definitely go check them out and uh if you like them jump on those reissues while you can you, you will not be disappointed while i was looking at those reissues and I, I added that uh bundle to my cart you have always have the people who bought this shop for or something along those lines and uh the new Druid Lord was available on there, and, I, and it slipped my mind that it was on Hell's Headbangers, and I saw the uh, the little people that are interested in this, or top sellers, I don't remember what it was, something along those lines. I was like, oh, the Druid Lord, well, I, wanna, I, I bought those, and then I kept thinking about it, I was like, I definitely, I, I've been wanting the new Druid, Druid Lord for a, for a minute now, so went ahead and added it to the, my next cart, and the next stuff you'll see all came on the uh the secondary purchase uh this is entitled grotesque offerings this is death doom release this came out uh this year 2018 it hasn't been out just too terribly long uh within the first i've heard some i just threw it i've heard some uh mixed reviews on this album but within the first maybe two tracks i mean listen i was hooked and i had to get myself a copy so glad that i finally have it i say finally it, it's only been out for just a, a month or two now but Fantastic stuff. As I said, Death Doom. If you're into Death Doom, check it out. Uh, next up is another one that I've been looking at for a while. This is a Crossfire with Burning Torches. This came out, I believe, in 2017, possibly 2016. This is a Black and Thrash Death. It's got a it's it's got a lot of Black Thrash and Death vibes going on here. Phenomenal release. It's hard to just nail it down to one specific genre. This is another release that's just a ton of fun to listen to. If you haven't checked this out, do yourself a favor and definitely go check this out. You will not be disappointed. This is just a six track EP, but at the same time, it's a phenomenal release in its own right. I started adding some other stuff to the card at that point. I was looking, and then uh, I saw a little banner on the screen that said 10 CDs for 50 bucks and I clicked on that and some of the CDs that had already added to my cart were in that uh, 10 CDs for 50 bucks so I went back and I just did the full 10 that's what the next stack is gonna be I, like I said I'll link up uh, that bundle deal so you can just go directly to that deal that will be in the description definitely go check that out first one up is uh, a band that I've been enjoying for a, a couple of years now and I've been meaning to pick their releases up for some reason or another. I just haven't done it. They had a release that came out last year that was pretty pretty highly acclaimed. This was the release that I first heard from them. And I'm finally defi finally glad to have this in my collection now. This is a Temple of Void with Of Terror and The Supernatural. Another phenomenal Death Doom release. Quite, a, I've got a little bit of everything as far as death, thrash, black metal, heavy metal as you'll see. This is a pretty well-rounded update from hell's headbangers so as i said this is death doom phenomenal stuff just a phenomenal band can't say enough good things about that if you're into death doom i'm sure you'll dig that but you probably already know who they are next up is a black metal band out of finland uh this is a band that i just haven't I've, i guess i've drugged my feet on uh, getting into i should have listened to them a, uh, a lot sooner than i did I've heard so many good things about them. Finally, uh, I guess, popped my cherry. Got it. Glad I did. It's got atmospheric elements. It's dark. It's grimy. Atmospheric. Fantastic stuff. This is Satanic War Master, War Master with a Fimble Winter, I think is how you uh, pronounce that. Fimble. I was blown away by this album. This is one of those bands where uh, I, I, I guess I just put off listening to them because I didn't think that they would meet the hype. That was behind them. So glad I finally gave them a chance. This is a phenomenal release. Definitely a fantastic black metal release there. Next up, we have some straightforward doom metal out of Chile. This is a, a band that I'd never heard of. This was a bit of a blind buy. I guess it wasn't a blind buy. I went and checked uh, some YouTube links. because I, I got to the point where I had about seven of these albums in the cart. And I needed to fill my cart out. 
And uh, so I found some other stuff that I hadn't heard before previously. As I said, this is a doom metal band out of Chile. The name of this band is Condenados, and this is the Tree of Death. This is a, an album that had all the potential to be just a stellar release. From what I heard of this, there are some very great things that I like going on here. I love the vocals. The vocals is what I think what carries this band the most. At times it gets a bit repetitive. I think that's a, a flaw that some doom metal bands fall, I guess, fall victim to from time to time. Excuse me one second. But it's a, it's a good release nonetheless. It had it had potential to be phenomenal, but it's still a great release. Uh, next up is a reissue from uh, Shadow Kingdom Records. This uh, actually was originally released in 1985. And this is a, a band that uh, I guess didn't get much recognition at the time. This was actually my first time listening to it. But I, I was blown away when I uh, did a YouTube listen. This was another one that I added to my cart towards the end. Uh, this is a straightforward heavy metal band. It's female fronted. Um, they uh, definitely weren't a part of the uh, the I guess the popular thrash sound that was so popular in the mid '80s. This was just a straightforward uh, heavy metal. Maybe that's why they didn't get the recognition that they deserve. This is a fantastic release. This is a Sacred View with Beyond the Iron Walls. As I said, this is uh, straightforward heavy metal, female fronted heavy metal. It's just. I, I, it fits that time period that it came from so perfectly. I love this. Maybe just me being an old hand in this uh, whole deal is a reason why I can appreciate that so much, but it is phenomenal. Uh, next up is an album that I should have had in my collection a, uh, plenty, plenty long ago, I guess. I, that don't even make sense. This is just a black metal classic. This is a Cult de Ghoul with a Henbane. Most of you are already familiar with this, especially if you're into black metal. I know it's kind of hard to pick that up because of uh, how dark that is, but there we go. Just fantastic black metal. I mean, you probably already know what this is, so I don't have to get too much into it. Fantastic release. If you haven't checked that out, do yourself a favor and go do that. Uh, next up is one, I believe when uh, Hell's Headbangers did the, they had like a, a vinyl sale towards the end of last year. I saw... Quite a few people picked this up on record, and they had this available on uh, CD, so I went ahead and grabbed it. This is a reissue that came out, I believe, in 2015, and this is a Cemetery Lust with Screams of the Violated. This is actually the only release that I from Cemetery Lust that I actually care for, so I was glad that this was uh, available still on the CD format. But uh, just Death Metal has that thrashy, I guess I thrashy, uh, black and thrash sound of this. Uh, has some death metal vibes going on at times as well, but uh, fantastic stuff there. Next up, we have uh, a band that was uh, featured in Metalhead Box not too long ago. I had a little bit of lag going on, so hopefully the audio visual sync isn't too out of too out of hand here. Uh, this is a band that the, uh, the drummer slash vocalist was featured in a uh, autograph section of the uh, Metalhead box not too long ago. This is Profanatica with the Curling Flame of Blasphemy. This is the newest release from Profanatica. I believe this came out in 2016. Could be wrong on that. Uh, this is a bit more doomy than uh, than I'm used to hearing from Profanatica. Not a bad release by any means, but it is a bit different than some of their older material material which is uh, just straightforward black and death this actually has some doom vibes going on in it as well but it's a it's a pretty solid release next up we have some old school death metal this is a uh, coffin lust with a manifestation of inner darkness i'm going to say this band is out of australia i could be absolutely wrong on that there's some but uh if they are out of australia there's been some pretty heavy hitters in the uh underground, I guess, old school death metal vibe out of Australia. I've heard some fantastic stuff from there, so definitely uh, don't sleep on Australia. But a uh, fantastic release. Glad to have that in collection as well. I've got two more to show, and that will be it. This is oh, I'm almost at 15 minutes already. I ordered way too much stuff. I'm broke, but, you know, the, at least the uh, collection behind me is happy. This is another phenomenal black metal release. This is out of Ohio. This is a Void Meditation Cult. Utter, utter the tongue of the dead. Uh, this is another one that's uh, just dark, evil, satanic black metal. 
And uh, it's if you're into that, it's got that ritualistic vibe. Fantastic stuff. Great listen as far as black metal is concerned. Last but not least, we have uh, some brutal death metal. This is Embalmer with Emanations from the Crypt. I have my oven pre preheating and I smell something burning. I'm scared to open my door and see what's going on in there. But hey, I guess if the kitchen's going to be hot, it might as well be hot as hell or hell's headbangers. So going to wrap this up. As I said, that's brutal death metal. I'm going to link up hell's headbangers in the description. Uh, I will link up these separate bundle deals that I got so you can see those too. Have a metallic media death metal grab bag coming that I'm going to show soon. I have some other odd and end things as well that I want to show off. So that's all I've got for today. Stay classy, stay metal. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so, and I will see you all very soon. Thank you for watching.